This is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management with this week's market update. This week on the Street of Dreams, stocks fell as bonds rallied with a 10-year Treasury yield dropping below 4% to just under 3.8%. The U.S. economy created fewer jobs than expected in July, adding only 114,000 jobs compared to the anticipated 175,000, while the unemployment rate rose to 4.3%, nearly a three-year high. The situation places the Federal Reserve in a very difficult position with its dual mandate of maintaining low inflation and high employment. The Fed was late to recognize the inflation problem, and now the market's worried about them making the same mistake in the opposite direction. The July unemployment report was substantially softer than expected, but it doesn't qualify as evidence of a recession, especially considering the impressive performance of the U.S. economy over the past few years. Just a week ago, the market narrative was all about a soft landing, but after Friday's labor report, the narrative is quickly shifting to an emergency landing. Odds of a September rate cut are now 100%, with a 75% chance of a 50 basis point cut. One point I've repeatedly made is that the soft landing narrative was always a bad metaphor. The economy doesn't land like a plane, it's always flying, sometimes slowing, sometimes speeding up, but never landing. Despite numerous hurdles, including a tightening monetary policy and geopolitical turmoil, the economy has defied predictions of a recession. Inflation continues to moderate, and despite the unemployment uptick to 4.3%, this is still a historically low rate of unemployment. Bottom line, it was a volatile week, but only the NASDAQ is in correction territory, down more than 10% from its all-time record high. The S&P 500 and the Dow are only down 3.9% from their all-time highs. Plus, our bond portfolios had their best week in almost a year. Short-term volatility like this is normal, even in the best of bull markets, and should be embraced rather than feared. I realize it can be challenging, but this is the time to stay cool, calm, and collected. Trying to time the short-term swings of the market is especially risky, and you never, ever want to miss out on the returns that a big, booming bull market can generously provide.